464 Avenger out to climbing T1 6000, clear direct to Yami. Two Victor, stand by and traffic no factor. Maintain a level two three zero. You had a four sixty four. You were interrupted. I uh, couldn't hear you. Somebody else is calling a different frequency. I uh, just confirmed level two three zero. Southwest five fifty one. Clear visual approach. Runway one six left. Clear for the visual one six left. Southwest five fifty one. You know twenty eighty four. Begin your turn in that now. Please maintain one seven zero knots or greater to leave. We're in the turn one seven zero greater to leave. Twenty eighty four. Twenty eighty four, thanks. Contact Tower one three five point three. Good morning. Thirty five thirty eight, clear direct Emmys. Thirty two twelve, checking in with you at a twenty four four descending via the clash with information delta. Double 32 tall Denver approach plan, RNAV Zulu, runway 17 right, speed your discretion. RNAV Zulu, 17 right, speed our discretion. Thank you. 
1818 to 718 8000. Number 6402, Victor, contact approach on 126.1. 126.1, 126.1, 6402, Victor. S864, Kilo, traffic 1 o'clock. 10, uh, 7 miles, same direction as a twin Cessna. They're in the block of flight level 180 to uh, and higher, so I'll have higher once you get them or past them in about 8 miles. West 146, contact Denver Center 133.95. Good day. Good afternoon. Good morning, Southwest 1910 at 11,000. We have the airport site. Visual approach runway one six left. Division one six left, southwest ninety seven. Southwest five fifty one, contact the retire one three five point three. Let them know when he starts flowing, have a nice day. Thirty five three southwest uh five fifty one and we're just starting to slow right now. Can approach we seven seven six would be a twenty point seven for one seven thousand. Fifty seven seventy six. Denver approach, stand by just a moment. Sky was 5264, Denver approach. Boutique 776, Denver approach, plan runway 16 right. Delta is current, the Denver altimeter is 2971. Delta, uh, 2971 for Boutique 776. Gaz 110, Denver approach, where are you checking on? With Delta. Two three zero. For approach fun runway one six left, Delta is current, the number altimeter is two nine or seven one. All right, one six left. Hello, Denver South, fifty one eighty one. Connected to pilot edge. Yeah, we go. Fifty one eighty one, Denver approach plan runway one six left. Skywest 5284, if you're up, contact Denver Center 119.85. November 306, Mentor Charlie Squawk 0436. Or greater. 10 degrees right. Uh, descend, maintain 10,000, I think you said. And 250 or greater, Jessica. Via the Nix, and we have Delta. How you ride? And Jazz 110, everything was correct except for the altitude. You said to maintain 13,000.
All right, guys, doing a little Epis economy today. Because <clears throat> I'm expecting a call by like 2.30, so hopefully I can get this flight done before I get interrupted with a phone call. All right, let's, um, let's go through the maintenance. Check all of our stuff. Everything is in the green. Battery is good. Avionics are good. Lights are good. Airframes good. Five passengers and myself, each one 170 for Epis Economy. I want to get the CG. So Epis Economy does everything by 170. Epis Economy has its weight at 1019. Uh, 56.01 plus 45.81 is 10182 minus 1019 is not geez. 1082 minus 1019 minus 63 170 minus 63 is 107. Let's put this down to 107. So theoretically, that should do it. I'll come back to that. Let's um, let's figure out. So it's 384 for Jet A. We're gonna do five. Well, it's six counting me, I guess. Stick to there. Do IFR, so I need 867. So 867 divided by 6.5 is 133. Actually, it would be, um, let's do 140. Usually do 70 and 70 in the fuel. Uh, altimeters two nine or six eight. <clears throat> Springs is landing south. Follow the IFR. I want to go into flight level 220, so we have to do IFR. We are slant golf. File. So we're going from here. We're going to cross over Denver and then come down to Springs. And so weather's nice, mostly. Flight plan is on file. Let's 
let's come back over here. So we do payload. So 170. So now we do fuel at 70 each. So now the takeoff CG is 32.9. So I have a uh, TBM perf calculator. Let me see if I can get this to work. So we are at STK. One pilot, two pilot, three, two, two. All right. And we are going to KCOS. Cruise two two zero fuel one forty one seventy one seventy filling out my weight and balance on this app. So that bottom one was uh one oh eight. So take off weight sixty three nineteen. That's not right. Okay, one seventy, one seventy, one two three four. Oh, there's a fifth one. There's four in the back. So I need to add another 170, 6489. All right, that's close enough. So that's 6489, and then we'll, uh, we'll close that forward door, and we'll take a look at the weight and balance. So we are plus 3.4, 985 on the payload. That doesn't doesn't seem right. Anyway, the CG is 3.4. That's the main thing. CG is still the same, so we're good there. We are loaded up. Except now the weight is just what it should be, I reckon. That's so weird. So I don't like how you can't adjust the passengers once you start the flight. That's why I was looking at the CG. Set the brake, throttle cutoff, fuel. All these are down. We'll turn on the nav. I'll bring that up. Bring that on.
Subtle warning, okay. Six normal cast messages. Turn the Talk pulse system test. Okay. Light on. I'll do aux BP to on. Start the engines. Anything over 950 ITT will abort. And you abort by fuel cutoff after you've introduced fuel. We need 25 NG within 30, 54 within 60 seconds. So we're going to use this stopwatch. Starting her up. Adding fuel. Twenty-five within thirty. Good on that. ITT is falling. We're good on there. About fifty-four in geo. We get another ITT spike, and the gen will come online. There's the gen. Fifty-four within sixty. It's a. Uh, Close the inert separator. Stop stopwatch. It takes 45 seconds. Main gen. Auto, auto, auto. Flight idle. Bleeds, pressure, environment. Stand by Jen. Turn off the pulse light. Current fuel, 70 70. Turn on the oxygen. Check revisionary screen. Push it again. Synthetic vision. to download the flight plan because it will save me time. Entered. And I need the Mahai VOR. So we're going to plug that in onto the nav radio, which is 114.7.
18.52 is a was on Stalin. 18.52. Internet. Sterling Muni weather. Wind light and variable. Visibility more than 10. Sky clear. Temperature 15. 2.2. Altimeter 2968. 2968. Sterling Muni weather. Wind light and variable. Visibility more than 10. Monitor. Sky clear. Temperature 15. Guard on 5 two. here. Altimeter 2968. Two Elevation 4037, so we're good there. Heading is 240, 240, avionics are good. Again, pressure is set for our arrival at Springs. Originally, we're going to be heading, uh, looks like, west, so we're going to be climbing to, let me see, maybe 16, we can go even, so we can do 16.5. Alright, 16.5, heading vertical speed 2,000 feet per minute. Autopilot is set. Flaps set for takeoff. Trim is set. Transponder VFR. Altitude squawking VFR. Uh, emergency lights. Normal, no alerts. ECS, uh, cabins 22 Celsius. All right, so how do we talk to center? So when we get in the air, we'll uh, dial in Denver Center, 133905. Just look for the blue stamp that's going to be closest to where you are. So we could use that one, but the VOR that I'm using for location is the Mile High VOR. So we're going to use 133905, which is Denver Brush Area. So be going this way, we'll get our uh, clearance. It'll probably tell me to proceed direct to Maha. That's what I'm guessing. So it went 33.95. Otherwise, we're going to use uh, Sterling's CTAF of 122.8. And 133.95, get that ready for center. This will be Denver Center, 133.95. Got the VOR my high programmed in, so when we climb, we'll start getting a uh, distance away from mile high. The wind 220 at 4, so it doesn't really matter which direction we take off. But we're up here to north, so we're going to take off 1.5. So... One five. That's the runway heading. Do taxi light. zoom in a little bit. Let's go with 62. Alright, so 
We got control, control. Let's do a feather test real quick. All right, feather test works. Remove the brake and we're off. There's no one here to talk to, so we'll just uh, advise our departure. This is the runway one five. Sterling traffic, TBM 139, taking off runway 15 for a right crosswind departure. Sterling traffic. Stupid track IR. All right, let's do strobes, pulse light. Do pedo. Stalwart. No cast messages. We're going to rotate at. Let me see here. Departure, update the winds. We are using one five. So we're going to rotate at eighty four indicated. Everything's in the green, looking good. This is a 5,000 foot runway, plenty of runway. Prop RPM up to 1900. Brakes off. Slowly add in torque. It's 85, rotate. Positive right. Gear coming up. Hundred and fifteen flaps coming out. Make a right turn. Damper is on and verified. Taxi light off. Timer, open up the inert separator, 45 seconds. We gotta keep an eye on the torque. Otherwise this thing will over torque like crazy. Switch to Denver Center so we can just monitor. Those things real controllers don't have to deal with. 
Talk of 205, contact Phoenix Tower 118.7. Here goes the spike and the torque, so we're good there. Reset that. Climb to 16.5. Dock on 205, Phoenix Tower, runway 8, clear to land. Go straight to Wind lander, zero, so it would be. Lander, menu, activate, direct to. Flight plan, nav, now we're picking up mile high. Phoenix Air 24 Monterey Airport, 1 to 2 o'clock, 1 3 miles report when you have it in sight. Turn off the pulse light. Phoenix Air 24 is cleared visual approach, runway 28 left. Turn on the oils. Noise counseling. Walker 169, turn left heading 080. Walker 169, turn left heading 080. And we are zero eight zero. Walker 169. Northeast. Mile high. I'll just say Denver. I'll wait till I get sixteen five and then we'll get her high far. Her 67. Neptune and Denver Center, TVM 1399, VFR passing through 12,500, uh, about 66 miles northeast of Denver. I'd like to pick up my IFR to Springs. 399 or Denver Center, maintain VFR, squawk 5765. Maintain VFR, 5765, 1399. 5765. Pressure is climbing. Differential can be contact, Monterey, up to 6.2. So we're good there. Nothing on TCAS. So that's good. King Air 139 or Radar Contact, 26 miles northwest of the Akron VR Altena case, now 15,000, clear to Colorado Springs Airport via direct Lufthansa, and then direct to climb and maintain flight level 220. Clear to Springs, direct to Lufthansa, then direct, climb maintain flight level 220, TBM 1399. Walker 169, turn right again, heading 180. Heading mode. 180, Walker 169. Let's see. Phoenix Air 24, Monterey Tower, runway 28 left, clear to land, wind 290 at 12. Walker 175, contact LA Center 133.2. 133.2, see ya. See ya. Delta 1824, contact, Salt Lake Approach, 135.5, we'll see ya. 135.5, Delta 1824, thank you. Dog on 205, where do you park? 
Well, let's transition. Uh, two, five, Roger into the ramp. Uh, straight ahead, Charlie nine, then Charlie. Put that on standard. Yeah. Delta eighteen twenty four Salt Lake approach afternoon altimeter. Two nine or seven seven information echo current expect ILS runway one six left approach after bear descend via the skis five arrival. It'll be ILS one six right. I'm sorry, you got it. ILS runway one six left, and you expect that from well, actually right off the arrival. Where's that guy at? Oh, there he is. He's going to Denver. Could double click on him. Walker 169 is clear direct Cisco. Resume one navigation. Clear direct Cisco, Walker 169. Fun to do a uh, arm. I mean, uh, RNAV approach. Let's set up for a uh, RNAV one seven right. We'll get ATIS before we uh, set that up, but that's going to be my plan. Looks like left C would be about ten thousand feet, so we can set. Um, Set that for ten thousand. Or maybe not. And Walker one six nine contact LA Center one three three point two, we'll see ya. One three three point two, see ya. Interesting. It won't let me move the cursor up and down. Okay. Huh. Seven right Yankee. It's an LPV, which is similar to that of a uh, ILS, but not as accurate. So we'll go with that from left C. Minimums. Borrow for minimums is six three seven seven. Load. Let's do Phoenix here, 24 tax ran via Alpha stay on my frequency today. 10,000. 10, that's one, that's 1,000. I think that's 10,000. 
do 10,000. Well, Haydn is 10,000, so we'll just put the same. We'll make that a three. Uh, 2.5 is. You do three, that'll work. That gives a six minute cruise. AT San Francisco ground runway one left taxi via Alpha Mike Springs one twenty five zero for uh, here one three nine or nine or contact Denver approach one two six point one Denver approach one two six point one uh, TBM one three nine nine did I put in a King Air on that IFR by accident No I think I'm just was used to calling you a King Air as well <laughs> oh, Okay well, that's true I do fly that more thank you. Delta 1824, contact Salt Lake Approach 125.7. 125.7, Delta 1824. Denver Approach, TBM 1399, flight level 220. TBM 1399, Denver Approach, good afternoon, Denver Altimeter 2971. 2971, 1399. And if everyone three nine nine across lift seat at maintain one zero ten thousand. Cross lift seat at maintain one zero thousand. TB one three nine nine. All right, that's what I already. Right like approach Delta eighteen twenty four with you leveling off at thirteen thousand. Twenty five zero. Delta eighteen twenty four leveling at thirteen thousand or descending via the skis five hundred. Please approach to parallel right away. Descending via the skis arrival. EFR departures for contact clearance delivery. Yeah, in that case, don't even mention the thirteen thousand. If you, if you mention descending via, then we'll understand that you've got all the restrictions all that are included. Short instructions. And Delta eighteen twenty four says the ILS runway one six one approach. Roger that for Delta eighteen twenty four. Eighteen twenty four and cleared ILS one six one approach. City of Colorado Springs Municipal Airport. ATIS information with ski. One seven five four Zulu, wind one five zero at one three, visibility one zero, few clouds at one zero thousand, ceiling two zero thousand broken, temperature one three, dew point minus eight, altimeter two nine seven eight, arriving and departing runways one three one seven left one seven right, visual approaches in use, simultaneous approaches to parallel runways in use. VFR departures, contact clearance delivery, advice on course heading, altitude, and if flight following is requested, read back all runway estimates and hold short instructions. Advise on initial contact, you have information with ski. Four zero might be Springs approach, so I'll request um, that Arnav Yankee one seven right from Lepsey uh, or Haydn. Actually, I'll say from Haydn. I'll show you the. Right, it's uh, C O S, boom. 6187, that matches the uh, landing pressure, cabin pressure. Let's go to the approach. Uh, Yeah, we're going to 
Du from Lumsey to Heighton and Febla. Semka. Semka is 87. Febla is 95. Otherwise, we'll be at 10,000 after Heighton. We can go down to 95 at Febla and then 87 for Semka, where we'll grab the glide path from the um, LPV approach, which is an artificial ILS basically. So we're going to give that a try. I'm going to reset this for 10,000. Vertical track. And then we'll set up. VNAV, and then that will take us down automatically. Denver's off to our right. There's springs, the weather. It's a uh, two nine or seven eight. Okay. That's the approach I want. Denver approach, TB one three nine nine leaving two two zero. TB one three nine nine Roger. So, there's the chart. Five eighteen, San Francisco Tower, only one left, cleared for takeoff. Wind two seven zero one one. Still eighteen twenty four, contact Salt Lake City Tower, one one nine point zero five. One one nine point zero five, contact eighteen twenty four. Now the altimeter. Two nine or seven eight. Delta eighteen twenty four Salt Lake City Tower only one six left cleared to land. Wind two six zero at three. At least I think that's what this should. Yeah, two nine seven eight. And we'll pop over the barrow here to two nine seven eight. And we're set. Fuel is even. And pressure is coming down. All right, let me get my destination updated. So we're going to do 17 right. I have a little app for this, current weights and stuff. So looks like uh, VREF is 85 indicated. Stall landing configuration is 77 indicated. American 518, contact NorCal departure. So we basically want to cross the threshold 50 feet above the threshold um, at around 85 indicated. About 50 feet, 85. American 518, North Carolina Forest Radar contact, but you give me your present altitude. American 518, Roger.
Now we're not a, approved to fly this arrival yet, so that's why the uh, flight plan is still left sea to direct to Colorado. Um, what I'll probably end up doing is asking Springs Approach to use the uh, the IAF, which is the initial approach fix at Haydn, uh, at 10,000 to assume the RNAV approach, which is uh, uh, which is this one. So we're going to go from left sea to Haydn to here, and then we'll land elevation 6187. So. All good. Uh, winds are American five eighteen con climb and maintain at five level one nine or zero. Let's see. One six zero at thirteen. Pretty much straight down the runway. Let's turn on our pulse light for getting close to 10,000. Now we'll just turn on all the lights. Because we're in an area where there's uh, traffic. Let's see if we can get anything on TCAS. I can turn off this. Uh, thing. Sure, extra golf, India, Oscar, Reading Ground. Information Mike is current, runway 34, taxi via Alpha. Tell the 1824 solid car. If he doesn't turn me over to Springs Approach quick enough, then I'll just go visual. Roger, thanks. Requested. Read back all runway assignments and hold short instructions. To be about 3 nine nine contact Springs Approach 124.0. Springs Approach 124.0, uh, 1399. U.S. Airport. Full Airport, ATIS Information Whiskey, 175. Afternoon Springs Approach, TBM 1399, uh, 11,800 for 10,000. Current with Whiskey, uh, request the RNAV Yankee 17 right from, uh, I guess, Lepsy. TBM 1399, Springs Approach, Roger. After Lepsy, cleared the RNAV Yankee, runway 17 right approach, altimeter 2978. After Lepsy, cleared the RNAV Yankee 17 right, 2978, 1399. So we're cleared the approach. Tower is 19.9, so I'm going to get that ready. 19.9er. Pulse light is on. No more coffee for us. 
and then um, Fibla can be 9.5. So we'll bring altitude down to 9.5. Vertical speed, that sounds good. Hayden, oh. Okay. And then Febla is 9,500 also. So we'll just stay at this altitude until we're ready to descend to 8,700. So I got tower on a standby, so we're good on that. Let's turn on the inert separator. Nothing on the scope. Pressure's fine. Don't need terrain radar. Fuel's even. Eighty-five over the numbers. Sixty-six will touch down. American 518, contact Oakland Center 127.45. Reset the altitude for 8,700, because that's the final approach fix altitude. You can only capture the um, glide path at the final approach fix, or at least that's where you should intend on capturing it. Same with ILS. But this is an LPV approach, so. It's not as accurate as an ILS, but still pretty good. Uh, if it was like really cloudy, our minimums would be uh, 200 radar. American 518, Oakland Center, climate maintain, level 350. MSL. So after Febla, we'll make a turn inbound, and that's uh, six miles, I think. Yeah, yeah, golf, any six Oscar, miles, tower, plenty of time to go down there, one, two, and just one, seven. Noel, thanks for the cheer bits, 100 bits, thank you. It's very nice, very nice. Glad you're enjoying the, uh, the views as we come into the Denver area. Actually, Denver's internationals north of us. We're here at Colorado Springs. All right, now we can uh, vertical speed down to 87. And then we'll arm approach, where the heck that is. I guess that's it, right? Yeah, we'll arm approach once we get to 8,700. Follow the glide path in. Four one three nine or nine or contact Springs Tower one one nine or point nine or. Springs Tower one one nine or point nine or one three nine nine.
Springs Tower, TBM 1399, RNAV 17 right. TBM 1399 or Springs Tower, wind 150 at 13, runway 17 right, clear to land. 17 right, clear to land, 1399. Slow down to 180 knots, 180 knots. We can drop the gear and go to flaps one. Here comes the glide path. I'm trying to capture that right at the same time as we lower our gear. And we're looking for 85 IAS across the numbers. Add in a notch of flaps. Here comes the glide path, gear coming down. Ground control is 121.7. So we'll get that ready on the standby. like to hear the engine on the final. Colorado Springs in the mountains where it's been a month and 64. Nice. I was there too a few years back. Uh, it's been a month at a ranch there in the mountains called the Collegiate Range, direct, direct in front, maybe. Yeah, I have no idea where that is. Following ground, checking them 292 Tango Alpha radio check. Number 202 Tango Alpha Boeing ground loud and clear. Instead of 85, I'm going to do 90 knots with uh, not full flaps, but almost full flaps because it's really breezy. It's 13 knots, so it's not gusty or anything, but still. Hold the center, America 518. Turn this uh, traffic global America 518, off. you're on Fresno approach? Fresno, I was supposed to be our Techno 292 Tango Alpha radio check. America 518, yeah, your Fresno approach 118.2, what was your last assigned frequency? Oh, geez. Um, <laughs> uh, stand by one. All right, auto powered off, my plane. Got 90 knots. Minimum. Target 518, Oakland Center, thanks. Number 292, Tango Alpha, Bowling Ground, how do you hear me? American 518, yes, go ahead, sir. <laughs> Roger. 
Right on. TV one three nine or nine or right, and when you're able, into the ramp via Alpha. Uh, right and to the ramp via Alpha one three nine nine. Straight ahead. Track IR. Strobe pulse off. All right. Two flaps up. Trim is set. Turn pedo stall warning off. the timer on two minutes and we'll do um, park and brake on Ground Techno 2902 Tango Alpha. Request radio check, please. Number 2902 Tango Alpha, Boeing Ground. I hear you loud and clear. How do you hear me? Uh, five by five. Thank you. I heard your previous call to you. Sorry, I went uh, on the wrong frequency. That's okay. Close the inert separator. We'll go to play idle. Do feel cut off. BP off. Uh, starter is off. Nav light is off. Gens off. Oxygen is off. Interior lights are off. Crash bar.
disconnected. So in case anybody's curious about that landing rate, it turned out to be 130, negative 130. So that was a nice soft landing, I reckon. We're all covered, I think. We'll set when engine has cooled. All right, everything else is good. All right, well, y'all have a good afternoon and uh, looks like I time that perfectly from my phone call here shortly. I'm working on my stream overlay. Um, so only over the next few days, you're going to see some changes. Uh, like here's my opening screen for those of you that didn't see it to begin with. This is my countdown, and then I'll switch it to uh, the other one. So that's my this is my countdown. So then that's that's going to be my countdown for right now and then I'll work on my ending my stream ending next um, I need to down I had to download the video or the animated stuff to my main computer it wouldn't upload to my stream elements program anyway love that well wow. yeah it's pretty cool yep slowly working on it and for subscribers, Noel, this is my subscriber. So when people subscribe, I flash this up. I'm still working on this too. So I also have a uh, transition that I need to import. So yeah, it's coming along slowly, but it's coming along. All right, y'all take care. Chase out. Middle number 306, Leonard Charlie, radar contact. About uh, one zero miles north of the Northern Colorado Regional Airport. Uh, say again, your request. The runway 17 right transition, and are you able to do the RNAV Zulu approaches? Yeah, we can do that. American 884, plan RNAV, Zulu, runway 17R. Right. Runway 17R right with RNAV for uh, American 884. Never approach, Skyway 283. Is checking in, passing uh, 
21.3 descending on the ski with information Delta. Yeah, with 5283, Denver approach, plan runway 16 right. 16 right, 5283. Skyway 5264, Denver approach, are you at? Fifty nine fifty five departure radar contact should be smooth. Climb to maintain one to six thousand. Skywest 5264, 16,000, descending via the ski one. Skywest 5264, Denver approach, plan runway 16 right, Delta's current, Denver altimeter is 2971. We'll plan on 16 right, and we have Delta, Skywest 5264. Oh, Denver approach, runway 482, is out of 24-2 on a T-bar 1, 16 uh, right transition, and we have uh, Delta, we're going to maintain flight level 190. American 43, Denver approach, plan runway 16 right. Thank you. 